is Thomas Pernatel and welcome back to my channel. So today, I will be doing the life of Blessed Peter Turot. Yep, Peter Turot. So without further ado, let's start to the fact of the saint. <laughs> yeah, Peter Turot lived on a tropical island in the Coral Sea in what is now known as Papua New Guinea. He was born in the village of Rakunai, where his father was the tribal chief. Peter's parents, like many other like many other other villagers, were catechized and later baptized by missionaries of the Sacred Heart. Peter grew up Catholic and thought of becoming a priest, but his father said it was too soon. So Peter studied to become a catechist who would work with the missionaries to spread the faith. Then Peter was assigned to work as a catechist in his own village. As a teacher, he was direct and dynamic and generally cared about the people. In 1936, Peter married Paula Le Varpit, who was also very Catholic. They joyfully celebrated the church's sacraments as well as the local traditions. Peter and Paula were the parents of three children. Then in 1942, the world was at war and Japan occupied Peter's island. The missionary priests were imprisoned. Peter, a layman, remained free. Peter worked even harder then. He and his catechist baptized babies and converts, visited the sick, assisted with charity, conducted Sunday services, and distributed the Eucharist to priests in prison. Then the military police cracked down. They banned Christian worship and religious gatherings. They decided the islanders should return to polygamy, and Peter objected to this. Peter was arrested in the spring of 1945 and was confined to a cave. When his wife and mother came to visit, he informed that a Japanese doctor was coming to visit, but he was not sick. He suspected a trick. He asked Paul to bring his good clothes. He wanted to be ready to meet God. The doctor arrived and gave Peter an injunction and something to drink and plugged his nose and ears. When Peter began to convulse, the doctor covered his mouth and the soldiers held his down until he suffocated. Soon, the rest of the prison camp found out what happened to Peter. The next morning, the Japanese guards acted surprised to find Peter dead. They said he had died of infection, but the crowd that that attended Peter's funeral knew the truth. They knew Peter was a martyr for the death. Peter Giraud was beatified by Pope John Paul II in 1995. The ceremony took place in Papua New Guinea. So that was the story of Blessed Peter the Rock. And this is a little bit of a short episode. This is the life of Blessed Peter the Rock. And what we can learn from the Blessed Peter the Rock is that even though that Peter was um like trapped like he was in jail but and he was confined to a cave we we should sacrifice ourselves for like as a martyr to for god and that like what peter did that he actually pretty sure he knew what was about to happen because like he said a doctor was coming so he knew I, i'm pretty sure he knew that, that like he was going to be sacrificing himself but peter knew like his well decision and yeah Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching, Call Fam. And make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications made to receive every single video whenever I post. And yeah, I love you guys so much. I see you guys next time. Bye.